How's it going, everyone? So this is kind of a hot topic that has just kind of been released yesterday, I believe. Uh, but as many of you guys know, Iron Man has become quite a success for many people doing streams and YouTubes, YouTube videos, I guess. Um, and it's been thoroughly enjoyed, I guess, throughout a lot of people. Um, and as you guys see right here, uh, I will put the quick find code, which is all the way down here anyways. But I'll put this right here in the in the description of the video so you guys can go to this yourselves if you guys would like to skim through it, even though I'll be doing that myself. And if you guys want to read other people's comments, there's currently 42 pages that you guys can read. So I guess have fun. Now, this is something that I did ask, uh, I believe it was Mod John C. whenever I was beginning to think about making an Iron Man account for Old School. I was like, you know, is there ever going to be a mode where you can actually, you can't possibly cheat? Um, and he said he's never heard anything about that, but it's, you know, it'd be kind of hard to do. But um, anyways, back on topic to this. So Iron Man mode, um, as you guys see, Jax is thinking about uh, making a mode. As many guys know, we have Legacy mode, EOC mode. The thing about making a mode uh, for Iron Man. Which obviously, in my opinion, I think it's freaking awesome. Um, now, this did mostly cover uh, RuneScape 3 Iron Man, although it does say down here that Old School uh, is as well thinking about doing exactly the same thing. So I'm going to assume they'll probably do it at the same time together just to make it look good, I guess. I'm not going to go over too much of what Iron Man mode is. If you guys want, just uh, stop the video or pause it and just read that quickly. That's basically what Iron Man mode is. I didn't even read this myself. I just kind of knew. <laughs> just by reading the starting, I already knew what I was going to say. Anyways, after reading this myself, the only thing that came into my mind was, uh, if you guys remember when Old School first came out, there was a huge rush to people trying to max, people trying to get their stats up, people trying to be the first person to do this, 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 and that. Um, that's kind of what this is actually reminding me of. Uh, Iron Man mode is going to be basically where you have to make a brand new account, and you, I guess, are able to toggle the Iron Man option on, and once you do that, you cannot take it off ever. Um, I assume maybe you can actually take it off at the very ending if you wish to make it a main account. Um, I don't see anything wrong with that if you wish to go from Iron Man into just a main account and just do whatever you want, however you want. Um, I, don't see an, I don't see anything wrong with that, but uh, whenever you make the account, you have to choose either Iron Man or just regular account. Anyway, so down here is a few of the things that they uh, noted that uh, are definite rules and uh, decisions that they've made so far for the Iron Man account. This will probably become a bigger list sometime in the future uh, as more and more things uh, will be kind of brought up. Now, the best thing about this, in my opinion, is probably the fact that they have talked about releasing a high scores for this, um, which I think, in, at least in my opinion, if you put a high scores for something like Iron Man, it will be way more successful than if you don't put one. Um, I mean, the only reason I'm seriously playing RuneScape right now is because there's a high scores. If there was no high scores, I probably wouldn't be here. At least I wouldn't be skilling like the way I am right now. And if you wish to make something like this successful, you're going to have to put a high scores on it because that's what's going to make people want to uh, go as far as they can and compare themselves with other people. I think that's kind of one of the main points of an Iron Man. I mean, it's sweet to see what you've done by yourself, but to compare it to other people as well is a lot more fun too. Now, we'll skim over some of the rules uh, since there's quite a few notes that they've already made here. But anyways, Iron Man starts when you freshly make an account. I've already covered that. Uh, so you can't just take your current account and make it an Iron Man account, even if you dropped everything. You have to start purely from scratch, having no items and no stats either. So you do have to train your stats. Um, the one thing is that uh, RS3, uh, I think, um, Iron Man will be not just much more simpler, but it will be a lot uh, more realistic to max at least. I mean, you can only think like you can do rune span for rune crafting. So there goes no having to do Nightmare Zone for five years or having to mine PRS for 10 years. There is many ways of training farming uh, without having to get seeds like, um, what's it called? Either Vine Sweeper or uh, the other thing. It's for the freaking comp cape. Now, there is one thing I would like to talk about that. I hopefully this. I'm going to hope that this uh, is ticked off for any type of Iron Man accounts. If not, then I guess she actually just doesn't give a shit. They just want their money. But I'm hoping that you cannot ever do a single spin ticket on an Iron Man account. You can never buy and sell a bond on an Iron Man account. Um, I wouldn't mind if you can buy a bond on an Iron Man account and use it for just membership. No spins, no rune coins, nothing like that. Um, I wouldn't really care too much about rune coins. You can't bet. Well, I guess bank space you can get. So maybe not even rune coins. Nothing but just membership from it. Uh, and maybe like change your name or some crap because that's also an option now with bonds. But as you guys can see here, it does say you cannot use the Grand Exchange except for bonds. So if you go to the GE, the only thing you can search is a bond, um, I'm going to assume. I'm going to hope that this means you can't just buy a bond and then sell it uh, on your Iron Man account. Or that will actually just ruin the entire thing. And all this will be just a complete waste of development time. So make sure you guys don't forget about doing something like that where you can't buy the bond uh, and then sell it on that Iron Man account and then get like free 5 mil. So you can't pick up other people's stuff, cannot pick up drops, monsters you have not killed. 
Um, the only other question I have about that is the tagging system. Uh, if Jax is going to do this, they have to be very careful with a lot of things. RuneScape 3, I'm not going to lie, is a game designed for you to cheat. There's so many ways you can cheat in RuneScape, whether it be Warband alts, which I've already discussed about, obviously, whether it be boosting mini games, whether it be... There's a bajillion things, I don't even know. But right now, if you guys want to get like, the fastest strength attack experience, you go attack an Aeroth, and then you have someone else kill the rest of the Aeroths while you're attacking another one. Because once you tag it, you get the XP drop, not the other person. Um, so that might have to be an actual game changer that Jax has to do in general, which should have been fixed a long time ago. Anyways, you shouldn't be allowed to do things like that. That, te that technically means you're allowed to leech anything. Like, I could I could attack something for just for once, run away from it and save spot, and have a friend come and kill it for me. Um, and then I would get the drop because I tagged it. So that might have to be kind of tweaked a little bit. If not for the general game, then maybe at least for just an Iron Man account. Or that's going to be abused. If anything here slips through the cracks, this entire thing will be a complete blowover. And there'll be no point of even competing with this. Because uh, once one person cheats, everyone else will start cheating. And then it'll just become a complete joke. So that is something that Jax really has to be careful of. Because there's so many ways that you can cheat on RuneScape 3. Um, that it's, it's going to be really hard for them to actually tackle every single thing. This is a pretty cool thing as well. I, I You can't like tell a group, so I can't get teleport anymore. Though on RuneScape 3, there is lodestones, which on old school, it's kind of just like using the minigame teleports. Um, now, obviously, you have, to go on, you have to go get the lodestones uncleared yourself. You have to go activate them yourself. So you still have to run around a little bit, but lodestones do help a lot for RuneScape 3, especially because it's you got to go so many places. Obvious things like you can't use other people's gilded altars, um, cannot acquire resources or equipment from Treasure Hunter. It doesn't say anything from turning shit into coins, though. So I'm hoping that... I have seen this before, but I'm just hoping that you can't, you know, do any... There just shouldn't be any spins at all on this thing. Obvious thing right here, you can't buy stuff from shops that are not restocked, which means if a player sold to the store, you can't buy uh, yourself. Uh, and this one's pretty sweet as well. You cannot uh, do dungeoneering with other people. Now, dungeoneering has come a long way from when it first came out. Solo dungeoneering isn't even that bad compared to team dungeoneering. I mean, it's doable. It's not as fast, obviously, but uh, it, it's not as horrible as it used to be. It used to be like freaking 10k experience an hour. Anyways, this part right here, I think is pretty sweet. That can uh, basically identify an Iron Man account. You'll have like a little special badge, kind of like if you guys have the blue badge from buying the premium membership uh, for the year. Here you can activate a little blue um, uh, star thingy. And as you guys see right here, it says, as a stretch goal, we consider a high score table to filter just show Iron Man players. Um, that right there is key, I think, this a whole entire thing. If this does happen or does have a high scores, there'll be a lot of people actually competing for it um, just because it's fun to compete with other players. That's part of why I like to play RuneScape myself, not just to set your own goals and achieve them, but to, to beat other people, I guess. Now, this is something I'm not really a fan about. If you die, you're, I don't know what happens. I guess your account gets deleted or some shit. I don't really know. Um, but right now it says you only have one life where if you die, the game is over. So you're going to make an Iron Man account, all of a sudden you DC and you die and it's done. I don't think that's really, a, that should not be there at all. Though I did forget to mention that is for, um, there's going to be technically a hardcore Iron Man, which in my opinion, yeah, I would not bother with this to be honest. Especially this part, I think this means where only your high scores will show for your Iron Man account if it's a hardcore one. Um, which basically means, yeah, if you die, like you're, I, don't really, I don't know who the hell would want to do that. I mean, that would be kind of interesting, but if you DC and you die, you literally cannot help yourself from dying, then you just literally ruined your Iron Man account. I don't really know. Maybe you can start off as an Iron Man hardcore, and if you do die, you just go down to just a regular Iron Man account. They could do something like that, maybe, because um, that's one of the main rules that's actually different. But besides that, uh, that would not be a rule I'd like to follow. Especially for old school, man. On old school, I killed myself on purpose so I can get 100% energy, because on old school... Energy is fucking critical. Like you need energy. Uh, on RS3, you can like rest and you can do many things to get energy back pretty damn quick. But yeah, that is the uh, the Iron Man post for you guys. If you guys like to look at it, like I said, there will be a link in the description. Um, now, one thing I like to say myself is um, I have kind of thought about this, and I guess you guys can tell me what you guys think about it. One sec, there's some blood skulls over here. Um, I have thought about because of the fact that my Iron Man account I was I created on old school such a long not a long time ago, such a recent time. Um, and compared to other people like Bodhi and a friend that I made their Iron Man's accounts a long time ago, I'm quite behind right now. And there's currently, I don't think, really too many RS3 players that have made Iron Man accounts uh, or made videos at least on it and made progress videos. So I'm thinking if this does come out, it's a possible chance I might spend some time doing this instead of Iron Man on 07. 
Uh, just because it's been done by a lot of people already and you guys have already seen most of the progress that people have made on it. And most of what I'm going to do is almost like a copy of what they're going to do. I was going to take a few different steps so that they did um, and a few less steps, I guess. Uh, but obviously, at the end of the day, it's going to be the same thing. So I have thought about maybe doing this myself and just kind of dropping my Iron Man on RS Old School. Uh, but that's just a possibility just because I know it's uh, I'm quite behind on most people. So it's kind of weird to watch me when you, you see other people that have a lot better stats right now. But um, yes, that is a possible thing I might consider doing. Uh, especially since there's a high score for this. I'm, I'm going to fucking love the high score table for this thing. That's going to be sweet for me. Like I said, the only reason I play this game is because there's a high score. So if there's a high score for an Iron Man account, that'd be freaking, that'd be freaking sweet. Uh, but at the same time, I do still want to finish maxing my old school account uh, and obviously finishing my RSV account. So this might be like a long-term goal in the very far future, but I might still start an account just to like AFK Rock Tales or some shit. I don't really know. Anyways, tell me what you guys think about this, if you guys plan on doing this yourselves. Oh, and by the way, they, there have been some response uh, from the JMods of the first few questions that are already here. But yeah, there's one tip I can give the Jags is definitely be sure that you cover all the ways that you can cheat on an account because there's currently a lot of ways that you can cheat and you guys might have not know about it yet, but there's so many ways that you can cheat. Um, I would definitely say on Iron Man account, you cannot do warbands, you cannot touch a warband's tent, you cannot loot a warband supply. Just because of the simple fact that people will use alts for it, which means that your Iron Man account will never have to go through any type of danger for it. Um, so, yeah. Actually, I guess you couldn't use an alt for doing warbands on Iron Man. But still, no warbands on Iron Man. That'd be kind of stupid. And right here, as you can already see, somebody has asked about sinkholes. No, because people that have five alt accounts will do sinkholes solo. See, so there's, there's something that these people don't really think about, but I obviously know about these things as people do this. They have a bunch of newbie accounts they probably did refer a friend for. And since those accounts are sitting there for an entire month, they have memberships. They may as well do their own sinkholes and always become first and everything. So I'm going to definitely say no to sinkholes for an Iron Man account. No dungeon with other people. None of that shit because you can cheat it so easily. By the way, this does seem very interesting in my opinion. Um, will I do it? I will probably start an account and just do a little bit of fun for it. And if I continue enjoying it, then I'll definitely keep going. Um, like I said, though, it, it is a lot more reasonable to at least max an Iron Man account uh, just because of the fact that you can do rune span and you can do other ways to get farming experience without needing seeds. I can only imagine how hard it can be for an Iron Man account in old school to get 99 farming. Like, it's, I don't think it's even a realistic goal, to be honest. I'm better off getting Twitter and all skills on one account than 99 farming on a freaking Iron Man account. That'd take forever. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoy the video, and uh, as always, leave your guys' opinions here. Sorry. No, I'm not going to type anything. But anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed and I'll see all you guys in the next video. All kinds of gains in this bitch.